Is the universe random? Think of the amazing biodiversity of our planet, of all the living things. We live in a wondrous world. Think of the complexity of a chimpanzee. Consider a jellyfish, or a blade of grass, or something less complex, something not alive, a simple Rubik's Cube. Three rows, three columns, three deep, with six colors. What is the mathematical probability of solving that by random chance? 13.8 billion years is the current estimate of the age of the universe. If you could send a blind person back in time with a scrambled Rubik's Cube, and they could make one move every second, how long do you think it would take them to solve it? In the 13.8 billion years of the existence of our universe, you would have less than a 1% chance of solving it. So how much longer would it take to ensure that you would solve it? There are 43 quintillion possible states for the Rubik's Cube. To move through every possible state without ever repeating the same one, it would take 1.4 trillion years. And you would have possibly solved it at some point. But it could have taken billions and billions of years longer than the existence of our universe to solve a simple Rubik's Cube by random chance. Now imagine the incredible complexity of a human being with 100 trillion cells that are communicating every millisecond to ensure all systems are go. Imagine all the moving parts, all the possibilities. How long would it take to organize that? Because we are so vastly more complex than a Rubik's Cube. Yet humanity exists. So how can this be possible? What if we could tell the blind person something? If we give just one little piece of information, yes, you're going towards the solution, or no, you're going away from the solution, then within a few minutes, the Rubik's Cube would be ordered. So from billions and billions of years to a few minutes with one simple feedback of information, that gives us a clue about the probabilities of how the biodiversity and the structure of cellular systems and all of our complexity that occur could have come to be with one simple feedback in the structure of space itself. Our universe cannot be purely random. There must be a feedback mechanism in the flow of the universe. 